Hey there, my name is Demetrius. I am the host of the Overcomers of Relapse Lounge podcast, and they call me D. We have a question from a listener. I am a certified life coach, and I am accepting questions and answering all questions on any topic from my background education, my personal experiences, and expertise. From a pure source of purpose that is within myself to be service to others with a passionate and humble heart that desires to help others. To offer encouragement and optional solutions that could possibly be the answer to any questions or concerns you may have concerning a particular matter. So, you have a question? Hey, because... Ask D. He is on the air. Here's the question from the listener. Hi, my question is, why can't I feel? I simply have no emotions. I am a recovering addict. I have had some terrible experiences dealing with my addictions. However, I am doing much better with my recovery. I just thought that by now I would have some kind of emotions, but I don't. And to be honest, I never did. I am not on any meds that would really cause this. So what is wrong with me? Thanks. Hi, listener. This is really a great question. I am sure that all of us as recovery addicts can relate to how you must feel not being able to receive or express any emotional responses. See, listener, most people that deal with addictions are prone to suffering from depression or anxiety, which they are sometimes prescribed an anti-depression medication or selective serotonin to deal with anxiety. Listener, this is something you may want to get evaluated for. Listener, I noticed in your question that you stated, you have always felt this way. Listener, here is something you may want to mention to your physician. There is a possibility that you may have alexithemia. Now, this is not necessarily a mental disorder. It is a dimensional personality trait that varies in intensity from person to person. Listener, here are some of the behaviors of alexithemia. Difficult identifying different types of feelings. Um, limited understanding of what causes feelings. Difficulty in expressing feelings. Difficulty recognizing facial expressions in others, limited imaginations, constricted style of thinking. Hey, listener, please seek professional help with this problem because alexithemia has been linked to depression and suicidal behavior. Hey, listener, I hope this really helps. We all need to be able to express ourselves through emotions as well as being on the receiving end of them. See, emotions are one of the key factors of communication from each other to each other. Please, please, my friend, I hope this answers your question or is some help to the answer. But my friend, please, Seek metal attention. Stay strong. So, there you have it. So, to all of my listeners, please feel free to leave comments. Or, hey, maybe you can get more insight on the question. That would really be great. Please feel free to email all questions to the email link below. Please check out my podcasts, which are conveniently located on YouTube also. And please do not forget to visit my website. So my friends, you have a question? Hey, because 
ask D. P is on the end. Thanks everyone for listening and have a great day out there. Bye-bye.